Introducing Dilly Dally, a free Notion template for procrastinators. From what I've read, there are five main reasons that people procrastinate. So I've built this template to combat each one of those reasons. Number one, tasks are too difficult slash overwhelming. Issue number two, we don't have a clear understanding of why we're doing the task. Issue number three, we cannot concentrate slash feel easily distracted. Issue four, there doesn't feel like there's an urgency to the task. And issue number five, you feel like you have too much on your plate. Here is my Notion tour for procrastinators and how I built it to overcome these problems. The template is free in the description. Watch the full tour so you know how to properly use it. And it would mean a lot if you subscribe. So here is the template. Now you're probably thinking this is way too boring and simple. That is a good thing and I'm going to talk about that later on. So let's add a task in here and ask ourselves the first question. We'll click on the new task template. I'll open this up in full page. So the first question we want to ask is from Ali Abdal. We want to ask what would this task look like if it were fun? So this can really help in making tasks feel less overwhelming and basically just more enjoyable. So I'm going to add a fake task here of uh, write a report. So to me, writing a report sounds incredibly boring. So as Ali Abdal asks, what would this task look like if it were fun? So we'll do some brainstorming here. Maybe we could play Pokemon lo-fi music in the background. Maybe we could write this at a cafe. Maybe we could do a competition with a friend. Here you'll just want to brainstorm what are ways that I could make this task more fun. Now the next question comes from Tim Ferriss. What would this look like if it were easy? So basically we're asking, how would writing a report, which seems extremely overwhelming and difficult, how could we make that an easy task? And you're going to go through and ask these questions for every single task that you're doing. Now, obviously it doesn't have to be for the two minute tasks, but any task that you do feel overwhelmed and you're procrastinating on, if you can ask yourself these two questions, they will hopefully help you in actually getting started and not feeling the need to push back the task. Maybe I could use AI to outline the report. Maybe I could transcribe and summarize a YouTube video on whatever the topic of this report is on. And then here what we can do is add some task instructions. So obviously you won't have to do this for every single task, but any tasks that you're finding very overwhelming, you can fill out the task instructions here so you have them on board. I do this with SOPs and making templates for myself. It just makes tasks a lot less overwhelming. So issue number two is we don't understand why we're doing something. So to tackle this, what we're going to do is select the relevant project on this task. So this report here, we're going to click here and click on this project here. So this projects property is connected to this database down here. It is just using the relation property to say, hey, I want this database to talk to this database. So we're going to click here and under projects and I'll write this hypothetical project of final report and click add here. So now we have the project of final report and if we click away, we can see it is here. And if we scroll down, we can see it's been added automatically to the project. So now we understand why we're doing this task, but why are we doing this project? Well, let's click here on this projects and click on new project. I'll click on open and full page. Now, as you can see, it's automatically here added all of the relevant tasks. So it's only showing me tasks here that are to do with the final report. So underneath this, we have the question, I'm doing this project because. Often having a clear understanding of why you're doing a project will help you to stop procrastinating as you actually have a reason for doing that project. It doesn't just feel like a random task you have to do. Just so I wrote two hypothetical ones, one for a student, one for a business owner. I'm writing this report because I want a good grade, which will help me get my dream job. Business owner, I'm writing this report because I want to land this new client as it would grow my business. So just simply filling out this question will help you understand why you're actually doing a project. You'll find a simple question like this can help with your motivation. Now issue number three of struggling to concentrate and being easily distracted. Well, it comes down to a bit of science here. A messy workspace affects your cognitive emotions and behavior. I've done separate videos about keeping a clean Notion dashboard and how detrimental a messy one is. A cluttered workspace can have negative effects on your stress, your anxiety levels, and your ability to focus. Scientists at Princeton University Neuroscience Institute have used fMRI and other approaches to show that our brains like order and that constant visual reminders of disorganization drain our cognitive resources and reduce our ability to focus. So as you can see, I've designed this workspace to be as minimal as possible. Now, obviously that means missing out on a few functions, but we have a great task system here, a project management system, and a calendar in the one organized dashboard. If you want other features such as smart notes, resource management, dynamic journaling, 
bottleneck analysis, and the AT20 move the needle system built into your Notion workspace, then I recommend checking out my headquarters template. The link is in the description. Don't worry, it's been designed to be minimal and clutter and get you results. Again, the link is in the description if you are interested. Okay, so the next problem is urgency, and I've implemented two techniques to help tackle this. The first one is simply adding a date to when this final report needs to be done. So we're going to say the due date is on Saturday. I, I don't know why a report would be due on Saturday, but we're going to say that. So now, as you can see here, we see April 13th and we have one full day left. So that is not a lot of time to complete this. So what we have here is a simple countdown of days left. So if I change this to next week, you can see we have six full days left. This is really helpful for people who feel like deadlines aren't that close. Having an actual countdown makes it feel a lot more real and we're more likely to take action. We both know that's impossible. I'm counting on you. I won't do it. The other way that we're going to combat non-urgency is this amazing productivity method called Parkinson's Law. Now, Parkinson's Law states that work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion, suggesting tighter deadlines can increase efficiency, aka you're going to work faster and actually get stuff done. So what I've added here is a simple time property. Now, this is going to help you to time block. If you don't know what time blocking is, it's basically just assigning a time that you'll do the task. This creates urgency as you know what you should be doing and when. So let's say this report is at 8 a.m. That's when you're going to start doing the report. Let's say you have a meeting with your boss at 2 p.m. Now this report is going to take you quite some time. So let's say this presentation here, you don't do that until after the meeting with the boss. All you have to do here is use these six dots and then drag it underneath. So now we have report, meeting with boss, and then presentation. Let's say we start that at 3 p.m. Now we have a simple time blocking system here, which is really going to help us in knowing what we should be doing and when. All right, the last big problem here is having too much on our plate. So I've created an absolute game changer of a system here, and it's incredibly simple. You'll probably be surprised on why you haven't been doing this before. It's called the three F's label. So I'm going to click on report here. And you can see here we have this focus property. So if I click on this, you can see we have focus, fine, and fun. The focus label here is when something requires deep focus. It requires a lot of cognitive demand to do this. The next one is fine. It's a task, it's pretty easy, it's a shallow task. It really doesn't require too much brain effort, but it's still something that has to get done. And the next one is fun. As you would expect, it is something that is fun that you're looking forward to. So report, I can tell you that is going to be focus. We are going to need a lot of deep focus in order to do that. The meeting with the boss, I'm sorry, but a meeting with my boss, that is going to require a lot of focus, a lot of cognitive demand. I'm not going to label that as fun or fine. And then the presentation, this also requires a lot of focus. To make a presentation that is actually good, that will require deep focus as well. Now this is inspired from my headquarters templates with flow states, quick tasks, easy tasks, and personal. Now we have an issue here and we don't know that yet because we are going to set ourselves a rule. You can only have two focus tasks per day. That is the rule that we're going to try and stick to. So I'm going to drag this presentation task to Friday, to the next day. It is unrealistic that I'm going to do the report and the meeting with my boss and then still have a lot of energy left over to do a presentation. It's just unrealistic. So now if we scroll down, we can see that under my day today, the presentation has been removed. It has moved to the next day and is no longer here. That's because we have a simple filter here under my day today saying scheduled this day. We are only seeing stuff that has been scheduled for today. So tomorrow it will automatically update and show you just tomorrow's tasks. So now we know after 2 p.m. I do have some time left, but I'm only going to give my tasks that have either been labeled as fine or fun. You see, we often get stressed and procrastinate because we have so many cognitively overwhelming tasks in a day that we don't know where to begin. So if we had these and then let's just add a couple of more like that. If we had all of these tasks in a day, of course we're going to procrastinate. This looks so overwhelming. When am I meant to do all of this? All of these seem like such big tasks. It's just unrealistic. So we're going to have the simple rule. You can only have two tasks per day that require deep focus. With these five techniques implemented into the simple Notion template, your productivity will skyrocket. Now my headquarters template is built in with many other features to combat procrastination, such as time tracking, which has helped me massively with procrastination. Knowing exactly where my time is going, into which projects and into which buckets has made me so much more efficient and definitely decreased my procrastination. If you click on this video here, you can see the power of headquarters. It's my all-in-one notion system for productivity. 
As of recording this, it has over 700 users with a 5 star rating and it has been designed to actually get you results. Be sure to check it out here and thank you so much for watching.